What's up, everybody? Today we have PayPal Patty crying after spending one night in jail. Only one night. And this guy is whining and crying about it. Also, we'll take a look at the footage that happened before he went live on Facebook. So last time when I covered the video, it was just his Facebook footage. But now we'll see what actually started the encounter. Without further ado, enjoy the video. Yes. I'm vertical live YouTube right now, testing out some new things on the channel. <clears throat> but I usually do go live uh, horizontal. But anyway, uh, I'm downtown Houston right now, guys. Literally <clears throat> had the longest night ever. Just got released from the uh, Harris County Jail. Uh, long story short, last night me and Chuck... Uh, Last night, me and Chuck were out, and, uh, you know, we weren't committing any crimes. We weren't breaking the law or anything, and we had our rights violated uh, by HPD. HPD violated our rights because uh, they went in, they unlawfully detained us, you know, and we told them 3802, we don't have to identify unless we're being arrested, which we weren't arrested. They said numerous times, you're being detained, you're being detained. Well... They pulled us out of the car. They, had, they told us to step out. We got out. So here he's saying they pulled us out of the car and they told us to step out. We got out. So either they pulled you out of the car or you voluntarily walked out. It can't be both. It's like these guys are so used to lying. They just do it compulsively. And uh, they, 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 went into, they went into our pockets uh, without consent. You know, they did an unlawful search and seizure of our property uh and unfortunately again i wasn't charged i wasn't charged with anything because we were filming or recording or or anything like that uh unfortunately i had some uh ticket warrants well i would say a couple weeks ago i paid like close to a thousand dollars in tickets well when i had when they ran my license i guess i had uh i had two other tickets that i i had to pay well, regardless of the situation, it's fruit, fruits of the poisonous tree, you know, fruit of the poisonous tree. And what I'm saying is, okay, yes, I had some ticket warrants, big fucking deal. But the thing is, the way they knew and found out about that was they had to violate my rights in order to get my ID in order to run it. You see what I'm saying? So I didn't consent to that search. I didn't say, hey, you can unzip my back pocket and go to my, go to my wallet. You know, they did that without consent. That's a violation of my rights. I think PayPal Patty forgot to mention that he was lurking and he was shining a flashlight into people's homes in the middle of the night. Now, that would be great for transparency if he mentioned that. But of course, it's a frauditor and they just love lying and they absolutely hate transparency. Well, anyway, uh, it was pretty rough in the jail, guys. I didn't eat any food. Uh, and I do appreciate all you guys supporting me, you know, and, and, and getting my back on the live stream. Uh, I do appreciate it. <clears throat> Their water in the jail is like shit. I drank a little bit of water, didn't eat anything. Uh, I didn't plan on getting arrested last night, but again, guys, some of you are going to give me some shit for talking too much to the cops. But, you know, I, I think it's really up to the person. Um, there's a time to remain silent and there's a time to speak. And I felt personally as the person facing, you know, uh, criminal acts by tyrants that it was my time to speak. And everything I said, everything I said was, you know, it, it wasn't divulging too much information. It was well within my rights of everything that I said, you know, I just pretty much told him, look. I didn't go on any property. No one stepped on any property. Uh, we were on the sidewalk the whole time. You know? Thank you, Handicap News. What's up, Pat? Trisha? Anyway, long story short, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to reach out to my attorney. I'm, I, I got the body cam. 
bullshit. You're not going to reach out to anybody. You have been doing this for over five years. There's not one lawsuit against the government. This guy is so full of shit. It's like the same script they tell all the time to their dumb audience. I'm going to sue them. Just give me money. Don't worry. I'm going to sue them. It never happens. Like I said, I, I had the body cam rolling the whole time. I'm also going to work on getting a HPD body cam. So the thing of it is, is this, guys. When they run their body cams and it's not attached to a criminal, criminal offense and it's not attached to a case, it's a lot easier to FOIA. It's a lot easier to get through public record because they don't have an excuse to say, no, we're not going to release it. It's part of a, an active criminal investigation. You know, this was uh, an unlawful detention. It wasn't, you know, they didn't charge anyone with a crime. So I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get it. But if I, if I can't, that's fine. I mean, they can play hardball. What's up? What's up, kid? What's up, kid? Cool. Uh, I have my body cam. You know, and they, they knew from the get-go what was going on. They, they, they immediately went hands-on with the cameras, immediately wanted to turn the body cam off, and, uh, <clears throat> you know, that's why we record. You know? <laughs> What's up, Israel D? Yo! No, I I, I, uh, I just got released. I went in. I got booked around 11, 11.30. I've been in, that, been in that bitch all night, guys. It was a pain in the ass. Wanted to let you guys know that I'm safe, secure, and I'm okay. Uh, yeah, nobody gives a shit, Bobby Hill. Nobody was worried for you. It's one night in jail. You can survive it. You were just fine. You ate your bologna sandwich. It is what it is. I mean, this guy is such a snowflake. You would think that after getting arrested all these times, he would be used to jail. But no, he still cries about it. You know, so I'm live right now, waiting on my ride. Smash that like button, guys. It really does help. Support this channel. Give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to, if you'd like to donate, you you can do that. I I just recently got approved for super chats. Congratulations to me. Yeah, I just got this channel monetized, guys. So, uh, congratulations to me. <clears throat> Man, there's so many cops down here, guys. Look, HPD, Highway Patrol. My God, they got the sheriff's department right here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, lawsuit's coming. CJ's gonna file on them. Once CJ sees the video, it's it's really just a open and close. Like I said, it's irrelevant that I had some traffic warrants. It, it doesn't mean anything. The point is, the only reason they knew I had it and they were able to arrest me on it was because they violated my rights to get my ID. You know? It doesn't matter that I had some traffic warrants. It's a big fucking deal, you know? I had a lot of tickets that I was working on taking care of. I had three that I got paid and I had two more I didn't know about, I guess. Uh, I don't know. I'll find out later what it was. But, you know, uh, they were only able to do that because they violated my rights. So there's going to be more on this to come. Like I said, I'm not that guy who's going to be like, oh, I'm following a lawsuit so I can't post a video. No, I'm going to put it out there for you guys. Posting the video, not posting a video doesn't, I can't see, I can't see how it would compromise this situation. So I'm going to go ahead and post it. I'm going to post my body cam footage of it. Of course, it's not going to compromise anything because you're not suing. You're not doing anything with this. You never do anything with any of your arrests because you are full of shit, just like every last one of them. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this live stream unless you guys have any questions for me. Uh, I don't have any reason to stay live on here, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the live unless you guys have any questions, concerns. 
Like I said, I didn't sleep at all. I maybe, maybe closed my eyes for like 10 minutes. It's so loud. Plus, I had to wait for my name to be called so many goddamn times. Didn't want to. I didn't want to miss court. Uh, you know, and, and, and it's kind of stupid. The system's, you know, it's really all about money, guys. Look, I had to sit in jail all goddamn night just to go to court, just for the judge to tell me, time served, $1,000 in tickets dismissed. You know, I mean, come on, like, ah, fuck. At least I don't have to pay those goddamn tickets. You know, they dismissed them. Time served. No fees, nothing. <clears throat> the only shitty part is I had a little bit of cash on me and they put it on a fucking debit card, so now uh now I gotta use uh, their their little their little county debit card. Where is my ride? It's baking right now. I'm baking in the sun. I gotta rest. I gotta get some sleep, some food, guys. So I I still haven't uh had a decent meal in the last 14, 15 hours. Don't hurt anybody in the jail, man. I know you look like the, one of the good ones. But guys, let me tell you, I'm sitting in the, in the county jail now. Don't get me wrong. The guys in there are, are, are acting pretty goddamn stupid. Uh, you know, so it might be necessary at some points to use force or to use pepper spray or the taser. Okay, that's fine. My issue is with the level of professionalism that isn't going on in the jail. Now, I understand you're dealing with a bunch of people that, you know, potentially don't respect anybody or anything. So you got to, you know, treat them in a certain form for them to understand. I get all that. But the thing is, I mean, these deputies are like screaming, cussing, and yelling at just people that aren't even doing anything wrong. I've seen it several times. Several times. All because they misheard something or they didn't quite understand correctly. They're telling them that they're going to throw them in the basement. They're going to lock them up for 48 hours. Uh, and then at one point they said that uh, they were going to put them to sleep. Uh, I saw several fights. It was pretty, pretty, pretty wild, guys. <laughs> it was, it was pretty intense. It was funny. All right. So now that you heard PayPal Patty's jail stories, let's take a look at his arrest, but the footage prior to him going live. I'm on standby. What's up, guys? Long time no see. It's been a couple years since I've been live. But uh, I went live for safety. I'm out here with Chuck. <clears throat> What's up? What's going on tonight, sir? Nothing. Nothing? Just pulled over, sending a text message. Sending over, sending a text message? What's, okay. go what's going on with you? Oh, we're getting calls out here saying that y'all are looking into cars. I haven't even been out of my car. Your sign. Being told. I don't know what to tell you. Y'all got some ID? Do you have some ID? For what? We can identify you. For what? All they did is pulled over here in the setting. I explained. I already got you, sir. It's because HPD. Someone is asking. Yeah, someone pointed y'all out, saying that y'all were looking at the cars. Okay, that's that's fine. But we're we're in a parked vehicle, so go ahead and roll the sergeant too. Roll the sergeant. Roll, roll you some more. The whole shift. I haven't been out of my car, so I don't know what you're talking about. Roll the whole shift. Sorry. Yeah, let's go ahead and let's go ahead. No more. Stop. Don't talk to him no more, dude. 
they're already trying to get your ID and everything. Don't talk to them. Just let them do what they're going to do, you know? And that's why none of his people, even the lens lickers, have respect for PayPal Patty. He just folds way too easily. He is just a total snowflake. And he tries to be a frauditor, but he can't do it. Even being a criminal, he's bad at it. So yeah, he has no respect from the anti-frauditor community and no respect from the frauditor community. He's just a total loser. What's your name, sir? Corporal, what's your name? Yeah, that's what we need. We need a sergeant out here. Straighten all this out. Wow, I would have never figured that, Officer Hughes. <laughs> Appreciate it, Officer Hughes. Yeah, no problem, man. Listen, this is a deal. We got a call about white male in khaki shorts looking into cars. We want to identify you. Make sure everything's good and y'all can be on your way. We can be on our way now. No, because you're detained right now. For what crime? Investigation burglary and theft. <laughs> what was stolen? <laughs> uh, I don't know what to say now, George. Oh, oh, two phones. 22 bucks. Houston PD, guys. Oh my god, HPD, guys. So what items were stolen? What was stolen? Did I say anything was stolen? You just said burglary, burglary and theft. You gotta steal something. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You guys funny. Are you a comedian too? No, she she's been pretty pretty cordial so far. It's this guy on the right here. He he's old school. He's used to doing the old school backwoods way. Are we under arrest? How does that work in Texas? How does that work in Texas? If you're detained, you must ID. Are you from Florida? How does that work in Texas? Are you from Florida? If you're detained, must you ID? Is that what the statute says? Are you from Florida? How do you know it's not a rental? That's why I'm asking, are you from Florida? Okay, but you can be in another state and rent a car that has a, a you know, any plate on it. That's why I'm asking, are you from Florida? Okay, what if, what if our car's in the shop? You don't know. Our car could be in the shop. We could have rented a vehicle. Could have borrowed a car. Could be my cousins. Could be my sisters. Could be my kids. So are y'all wanting to go to jail? No, we're <laughs> wanting to leave. Well, you're not leaving until we get some ID. What's the charge if we don't give you ID? Tell you to ID. Okay, 3802, sir. Call your sergeant. Look up Florida Statute 3802. What's it say? You must identify if no. you've been detained? Yeah, or sorry, Texas here. Statute 3802. Is that what it says? You must ID if you've been detained? You really can't make that shit up. He's quoting Florida Statutes in Texas. Great job, genius. I'm glad to see that your law degree from the YouTube University is paying off for you. We are not in Florida. Okay. That's why I said Texas. I changed it to Texas. Pay attention. You're not a very good investigator, are you? Is that why you're on the street with only two stripes? Call your sergeant, corporal. Call your sergeant. Call your lieutenant. He already did. They already called the supervisor. Good. How long are we going to be unlawfully detained? You're not unlawfully detained. So we're not <laughs> detained? I said you're not unlawfully. You are lawfully detained. No, we're not. You, you can't articulate one fact of a crime you're going off of <laughs> hearsay apparently or you made it up i don't even know are we free to go yet nope
I don't know what we did. We're just sitting here. I guess we fit the description or something. I don't even know. <clears throat> What's your name and badge number? Officer Abel. Abel? Yes. What's your rank? Corporal? No. What is it? Yeah, they they have a senior. She's a senior officer. Is what it is. They don't have corporals before sergeants. I, I think she's it's senior. The the two stripes. two stripes. Yeah, I know, but they, it's considered like senior. Senior so officer. Got two stripes too. Yeah, he's a senior officer. So two senior officers demanding ID, like it's Nazi Germany or something. What the hell? Are you? you we're live anyway, so. <laughs> Another cop, no sergeant. We haven't broken any law, so we can sit in the vehicle and not give you any ID. We're live on Facebook right now. 20,000 people are watching. Okay. Suggest you make the right decisions. So somebody makes a complaint about individuals. We don't even know if that's real. Are we free to go now? No. So wait, who's detaining us? Which one's detaining us? Which one of you is detaining us? I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Oh God, that's so fun. This guy must be from Texas. Guys, I'm going to go live on Facebook. All right, so after that, he went live. You guys have already seen the footage on my previous video, and he ended up getting arrested because he had three warrants. What kind of a moron do you have to be to fraud it while you have active warrants? Well, PayPal Patty, that's the kind of moron you have to be. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Click on any of the links on the screen right now to watch another amazing Frauditor videos getting exposed. And I'll see you guys on the next one. To just to let you know, I'm far from being broke. I am butthurt because you took my video. I got no money. I'm not poor. I don't have any money. Come on, guy. I have money.